Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. Another seven days that I video We're doing all this in Alpha 18.1. This is a stable build just in case they change something in a later video or a later time and things are a little bit different. Today we are going to be looking at the Lantern. This is the newest light source they added in Alpha 18 and it's the next thing that you can actually make to provide some sort of light in the game. So we're going to test out a couple things but first to show you guys what you need to be able to make this. In order to be able to make it you have to have found the Art of Mining Volume 7. It's the only way you can learn how to make this. You have to learn how you have to get the book in order to get it. It's going to be right down here. It's also what allows you to make mining hats, but this is the only way you can learn how to make it. And then you'll see that from within here, you need to have a workbench. Unfortunately for us, we have one right over here. So once you get to the workbench, then you're going to see you need some forged iron, a headlight, some electrical parts, duct tape, and oil. It takes a little bit less than a minute to fully craft this if you have all the stuff down here and you'll get your one lantern. Now, one of the first things I want to test out is to see how much light they actually put off, if it's even worth having one. So what I'm going to do to start with is that we're going to test out and see how much light the torch puts off here. So hang on, let's get it dark and see how much light they put off. Okay, you can see with the lights command enabled here, this is how much of a radius of light a standard torch puts off right on top of one block. This is just testing off sitting on top of one block. It changes obviously based on how high you have it. But this is just so we can see how much difference there is between the torch and the lantern. So I'm going to put a block right over there just so we can see because the radius is going to be the same regardless. So we'll pick this up real quick and then we'll put this on top of here and we can see the radius for the lantern. And you can see right out here, this is the radius of where the lantern light goes out here. So it goes out a good one, two, three, four, five full blocks further than the torch does in the exact same spot. So by this test right here, you can see that the lantern actually does put up a lot more light and cover a lot more area than a basic torch. You would assume so since you start the game off with a torch and they're relatively easy to get versus the lantern requires a lot more to get. But now that begs the question is, how much does it raise the heat map up here? If you decorate your base with these things, how much is it going to raise the heat map and will it start spawning in some screamers? So we're going to test that part out next. All right, so we've moved over to a vacant house or it's vacant now. And you can see over on the screen, I have the actual heat register brought up here. You can do that in debug mode just by pressing F8 twice. You can see I'm in heat chunk 1251. As I move into the house, I'll probably transfer over to more than one chunk. No big deal. I've done an extensive amount of work on doing heat maps. So there's several other videos if you want to go check out and see the ends out of how that works. But just for this, we're going to test out just with the lanterns. So you can see right at the moment, it's sitting at just 1.2% based on the two events. And that was just when I was blowing out the doors here so we're going to try and see if it goes up at all if you just put one down all right so placing just one right there one right there one right there and one right there okay that is incredibly bright in here turn off my own headlamp just so it's not and you can see just right there let me see if i can get to a spot that's not so bright and you can see the number just placing the lanterns did not raise the heat map even a single decimal so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pepper the house full of tor uh, full of these lanterns here. It's going to be incredibly bright. We're just going to lay them all over the place. Just all up inside here. This house kind of takes up the uh, area of more than one chunk. So I think this is a pretty decent job of it here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here and just let, let the game run for a little bit. And to see if that number will go up at all. Now, with the torches and the forges, those raise the heat more than anything else in the game, which is why having a lot of torches or your forge near your base or campfires will jack the heat level up and eventually can start spawning in some screamers. So for now, what we're going to do is we're just going to let these burn. I'm going to sit right here at the top of the stairs, not move, not add any other events to it here, and just see if it will go up over time. So we'll check back here in just a little bit and see if the heat has gone up even slightly. All right, we have been sitting in the exact same spot, not moving with all of the lanterns burning consistently for I don't even know how many in game hours, just a little while, but it's now 730 at night. And you can see I'm walking around right here that the heat level is at 0% with all these lanterns here and this this house being excessively bright here. This is just too bright for any reason whatsoever. There is 0% heat. So if I was going to make a judgment to say yay or nay, I would say no, the lanterns will not cause screamers to spawn in because it doesn't raise the heat level at all. It's not going to change the heat pattern inside your house at all. And these things are incredibly bright. They're brighter than torches are. So 
if you get to a spot where you can make these and you find the art of mining seven and you actually have all the stuff to make them just pepper your house with them all you want to and something else i've noticed too at least me personally this is just my com my computer here that i've got probably 20 lanterns laying around here and you can see it's excessively bright i mean it's ridiculously levels of bright here and i am not dropping any frames at all from it usually you have a ton of torches start getting some stutter here also if you saw that heat level go up here to 0.6 percent it's because the floor broke out here this is considered like an event if you walk over trash sometimes you'll raise the heat up just a smidge if you walk over a block that breaks it out here so the anybody watching this saw it, oh the heat jumped up to 0.6 it's not because of the lanterns because the floor broke out from underneath me it just happens but at least jumping doesn't do it anymore so Lanterns are a fantastic new addition to the game. I'm glad they added a really powerful bright light source here that doesn't cause screamers to spawn in so we can light up the inside and outside of our bases all willy-nilly and not have to worry about whether or not it's going to cause an army of undead to show up at our house. And good lord, that's bright. And I have my headlamp completely off. No contrast up. That's just, that's almost just too bright. But we're okay with it. Anyway, hopefully this video was useful to you guys. I know I've had some people asking me about it. Definitely keep suggestions coming of things you would like for me to test out. Always adding to my list of things to try out in the new series. Um, if you enjoyed the video or found it useful, do me a favor and leave a like on the video down below. And of course, questions or comments are always welcome. And if you're new here, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future videos. And if you hit the little bell icon, you'll get notified when a new video goes live. Thank you guys so much for all your time. You have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. <laughs>